All right, folks, we have a beautiful here Quantum Edge HD, heavy duty, 450 pound weight capability. So this power chair uh, has 14 miles. It was used less than a month, like all my chairs probably. Gorgeous looking power chair. Uh, this is the Quantum Edge HD. It has the seat lift, the tilt, the recline, and the electric leg, so it's loaded. So all the functions on this chair, before we talk about the base, all the functions work through the joystick. So if you go to your joystick here, and you keep pushing this knob left here until you see a picture of the seat. By moving your knob here, you can position the back. This would be the seat lift, this would be the legs, this would be the legs, and this, this would be a tilt. So we're gonna go back to just the seat. That's your seat lift, and we're gonna start going up with it. You're gonna start roughly at 22 inches when you're down. And by the time you're all the way up, you will be up to uh, 32 inches. It's a 10 inch seat lift. So you're gonna start at 22. You'll be at 32 by the time it's all the way up. And the nice thing about these chairs with the Quantums is when the seat is elevated all the way up, there we go, and you put it back in drive, you can still drive the chair at a decent speed with the seat elevated, okay? So if you're gonna drive it with the seat elevated, make sure you're in your house. Do not drive it where it's bumpy, you're asking for trouble. So while we have the seat elevated, let's look at the base. You can see this chair is practically new. You can see the, the way the seat is constructed, you can see how solid, it's a four point seat. You can see the actuator right here that makes the seat go up. We, we have 14 inch wheels here, non-skid wheels, with matching color for the frame, it's a beautiful blue, whatever color blue that is. Uh, you have an anchor point here, an anchor point here that's bolted to the frame of the chair. You have two on this side, two on the opposite side. This is where you would hook up your chair if you're going to transport in your van on your lift right here, okay? Now one thing about your lift, this chair right here weighs 435 pounds, so it's not going to, it's too heavy for most lift. You have, there's only one lift available, give us a call for that. But you can't put that on a regular outside lift, it's, this chair is too heavy unless you have a special lift, you need to give us a call for that. There's a motor, a heavy duty motor for each wheel. There's one on this side, one on the opposite side. So this chair weighs 435 pounds, somewhere around there, so it's too hard to lift or to push if it's not, if you had an issue, how would you roll it? So you can roll this chair, just turn the power off, okay? Each motor has a yellow handle and it tells you right on the motor, if you push the handle down, you are in neutral. See that? You gotta do both motors. And then when you're done rolling it, Put it back up, and you're back in gear. You can see you're in gear now, okay? You can see the suspension in the back, and you can see the suspension in the front, same suspension in the front over here. You have four of these shocks right here, for the, so the chair has a great suspension, okay? The reason you want the power off when you put it in neutral, so there's no resistance in your motor, okay? So I'm gonna go back to the seat lift as soon as it turns on here. Now I'm gonna go back to the seat lift and I'm going to bring it down. So the seat is going to go down now, this way I guess. So this is, this is a left-handed joystick, so if you're right-handed, no problem. We can put the joystick back to the right, no problem at all. You have a swing-away joystick, so you can get closer to a dining table with the swing-away joystick, okay? So if you're, left if you're right-handed, which most people are, we can switch everything back to the right. But right now it's set up for a left-handed person. So the first thing I just showed you was the seat lift. The next one I'm going to show is called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is when the base right here goes back. So when the base goes back, <clears throat> it's going to take the legs, it's going to take the back because they're all connected together. This is called your electric tilt. There we go. The next thing I'm going to show you are the electric legs. So if you wanted some real good circulation, you could have yourself tilted this, tilted this way. Or if you need to relieve pressure, it's a good way to do it. Now, this is a little extreme, putting your legs all the way up like that, but you don't have to go this far up. What you could do is be halfway tilted, like this. and still have your legs 
higher than your body. And these legs are adjustable, so if you're five feet tall or six foot three, we can adjust the length of these legs for you. So I'm gonna bring the seat back down flat. The last option we have left is called the electric recline. So the electric recline is, is just the back going back by itself. So, so if you watch it, you can see the back going back. I'm doing it with the button here. You can see the back going back, and I, and I just moved the arm out of the way to show you. You can leave the arm in when the seat reclines back if you want to. This is the electric recline. So if your arm was still in, you know, this would be, this would have to be adjusted, of course. So, that's the electric recline, and we're going to bring it back. Now what this is here, this is a brace. This bar right here is an extra brace. You'll see it in a minute when I bring this seat all the way back. If I can push on this arm, it takes away, it takes away some of the pressure of the arm, okay? Also, also with this chair, uh, let me bring the legs back down. So if you're outside, make sure you leave your legs up a little bit so you have a little bit of clearance. You do not want to jam these legs into a concrete curb or anything like that, okay? Just make sure you pay attention. They're very expensive to fix. The seat on this chair is uh, 23 by 20. 23 by 20. The back is a little bit smaller. That's the way this chair was figured out. If this seat is too big or too small, we can adjust these seats, we can adjust these backs, we can make the arms bigger, we can make the seats smaller or larger. But uh, this is the heavy duty power chair with 450 pound capability, so it does have already, I think it's 23. Let me measure it again. Sorry, 21. 21 by 20. So it's 21 wide by 20 deep the way it's set up now, okay? So also with this chair, it's a mid-wheel drive, so it turns on its own length. So if I can do this all day long, it, you can do it in your house. It'll turn all day long like this in the same spot without moving. Okay. And also with this chair, we have lights somewhere. There will be a light button somewhere. I couldn't find the button for the switch for the light. There's lights on the fender. There's uh, LED lights front and back fender on both sides. I can't turn them on. They didn't put the button on the back. There's a little button that you put, you put over here. You just tap it. It's just a little release button and it plugs in the back. It was never installed, but we have it here. We'll install it. So you'll have a little button around here. You just go like this and your lights on your fenders will come on. So this chair does have the headlights and the tail lights. Whoever had this chair never installed they never used our lights so the back of the chair we have a fully adjustable headrest right here you can see the suspension I was telling you about earlier and these cylinders on both sides right here if I turn these cylinders it adjusts you can see the arm going down or up that's what it does okay so I'm gonna bring it back up whoop going the wrong way there we go all right so the only thing we need to talk about is how to charge this chair. Some of you probably already know that. So when you charge this chair, little spider here, you take your, quant your uh, quantum charger right here, and you plug it right below your joystick right here, and you plug it into the wall. As soon as the light goes from orange to green, the charger will shut off and your batteries are full, okay? This is where you charge it, right there. The foot plate does flip up, so when you exit, and they also go all the way under the chair, so there's nothing sitting forward. I'm gonna put him back down, and we're gonna talk about the chair real quick, do a, do a quick recap. This is the Quantum Edge HD for heavy duty, 450 pound weight capability. It has the 10 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, 
the electric recline, the electric legs, four electrical function. This chair has 14 miles, it was used for less than a month. It has the light package, it has the arm support right here that goes into here, which gives you more support on your arm, see? Uh, it has the re reinforced arm support. It has the swing away joystick. As I said, the joystick can go on the right if you're right handed. It has the adjustable seat. The seat on this one right now is 21 by 20, 21 by 20. It has the fully adjustable headrest. It has the great suspension. So if you're looking for a heavy duty power chair, 450 pound capability with a 10 inch seat lift, this would be a really nice one. So this is the Quantum Edge HD. Top speed is 4.5 miles an hour, so it's not made to go really, really fast. It's more made for power and torque. Real, it's a really easy chair to drive. no problem to the grass my grass is pretty decent so if you have bad yard it may not go through your yard but it in this type of grass here it goes up with no problem so the only thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna elevate the seat to show you how the chair dries with the seat elevated so it's gonna go up now from 22 to 32 inches um, so this is the one with the seat lift it has the electric tilt the electric recline the electric legs uh, it has a suspension and um, this chair will still drive with the seat elevated so which is nice if you're going to drive with the seat elevated please do it where it's really nice and flat you, if you have to fix the seat lift you're not going to be happy so this is the seat elevated so I was able to go about 3.3 .3 miles an hour 3.3 .3 I'm looking at the speed on here, 3.3 miles an hour. So this is really, really, really a nice chair. So if you take care of this chair, it'll last you a long time. This is really a gorgeous chair and it's ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800 six seven seven six two nine three or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com